guys so it's been a while um it has been a while uh so i stopped doing uh videos for a while and i apologize for that uh life got really busy and there was a lot going on and in other aspects of my um in of my career so um so i had to take some time off and i figured you know there is a lot of content that you guys still have to go through and you know all the people that have been um subscribing lately i appreciate it i'm sorry i'm not as active as you hope i you hoped i will be um technically speaking you know this is just something i do because i like to help out people i'm not like one of those youtubers that are trying to make a career out of it so uh i'm i don't really go too hard on this but um but i do hope that um that it serves as a you know what i have so far has served as a good help on um, I promised uh, before I left the last time that I was going to do a React um, course uh, tutorial, a very small React tutorial, but something that will give you the basic ground and the foundation of how React works uh, from end to end. And then depending on how that will work out, then I will eventually build on it by adding a little bit more to it, such as um, the Redux part, for example, on how to manage the state uh, through Redux. Um, but for right now, we're just going to basically focus on React alone. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that have done the exact same thing I'm doing right now. And that's okay. I mean, uh, I still think that um, people learn differently from other people. So I think uh, maybe if you guys like the way that I teach, then you can learn from me. But if you like all the people better, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> all right, so let's get to this. So this is kind of like an intro introduction video. So um, you know, if you if you just want to skip to all this psychobabble thing, then you can just move over to the next one. But um, basically, what I wanted to mention first before we start anything is what to expect. Uh, you know, what do you need to have already set up? Because I don't want to walk you through all that setup. Uh, I think that uh, that's already been beat down a lot in other applications and other tutorials for other applications that I've made and that other people have made. So what do we need? Um, so you need to have Node in your computer and uh, it helps if you have a Git bash in your computer because it's always good to always have a copy of your code in GitHub. Uh, obviously you need to have an account in GitHub in order to do that, okay? And establish your repository and all that stuff and you need a copy of visual studio code which is completely free but any code editor will be completely fine but if you want to use what i have i use visual studio code and i think it's just maybe easier for you if you're still learning um programming and you know you want to follow along with everything exactly the way i do then you'll probably be easier for you if you had the exact same technology that i'm using but it's not and must have you can use anything you want all right so assuming you have all of that okay we're going to the first thing you're going to do is you're going to build a uh, your, your main application you're going to set up your foundation for it so i want you to start by opening a um a folder on your machine right and you can call it react for example you could call it whatever you want anything you want and then once you have that then you can open your Visual Studio, okay, which I will open in a second here. And there it is. This is my Visual Studio starting up. Okay, so you open your Visual Studio. Okay, so for the sake of you guys uh, seeing what I'm, you know, being able to see and read, I am going to. I'll make sure that my font size uh, it is there you go that my font size is maybe at 18 all right so that makes it a little bit more readable for you guys I right, close this all right so this is what you're going to do is uh, you're going to click here where it says Explorer and you're gonna open folder okay you can also do that from here as well so just open and you're going to go to the folder that whatever it was placed for me it was in the training room and it's called react 
and you're gonna call open and then you're basically gonna see it here and you're gonna see all the contents inside of that folder including an application that I had already started that I have was already doing but so don't don't worry about this part right here yours shouldn't have anything here it should be completely empty okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna you see this button right here that's your integrated uh, terminal so that's the same thing as running for example this type of terminal okay or CMD as you call it in Windows doesn't really matter if you're using a Mac or Windows but this one right here will basically just turn this right here your terminal your integrated terminal um, if you don't have that which I'm sure that every Visual Studio Code already has it by now you can um, you can come here to this uh, this little extensions icon here and then go down and you can see like you can just pause the video and, and see what I have and then just look for these and make sure that you have them uh, installed okay all of these are really helpful um, to have so just just kind of go over it and uh, make sure that you have all of this stuff in yours as well okay all right so I'm not gonna walk you through all of these I have actually already a video on these extensions from Visual Studio Code that you can follow and I actually go over all of these in detail so I'm not gonna go through it in here just basically just go through that video or look at this make a pause and make yours look like mine all right so what I'm gonna do is I am going to come over here to this terminal and I am already in that folder if you can see it here um, because I am opening the terminal in that file that I am opening in that folder that I'm opening I am already located in there so what I'm going to do here is assuming that you have node if you don't have node or you don't know if you have node you can put node minus V I don't know if you can see this right here I hope I have I wish I had uh, terminal settings maybe maybe I have a way that I can make the font size a little bigger hmm. oh look at that I do all right well this is good I'm gonna make that one just a little larger as well so that way you can see it haha <laughs> look at that all right cool so I'm just gonna close that as well all right so if you put node and then that and then you hit enter you can see that I have an uh, the version being thrown back at me that means I'm using node and the version of node that I'm using is going to be 14.15.4 whatever and if you don't have it then just go to the website to nodejs.com um, maybe and just download it it's pretty self -explanatory. it's pretty easy it's just no a no-brainer just do that okay and then come back over here and do this again make sure that you get this back that you get something back okay I don't know if this is going to be by the time you watch this probably it's not gonna be 14 anymore might be 15 16 17 doesn't matter I'm sure you have the latest the most stable one All right uh, so npm let's just see what we have there so in npm which is a no package and a, 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 a package manager inside a node and it contains a lot of stuff including react and that's also giving me a version back now how do you know if you have this or what do you do if you don't have anything back here it just basically download npm install globally so npm install globally will install npm at a global um, scope in your computer for Mac users make sure that you have um, sudo whenever you do anything with a G anything global make sure you have sudo and then it'll prompt you to put your computer password in there okay but we're not gonna do that all right so now that I am there the next thing that I'm going to do let me go ahead and really delete this assuming that you are at this point where I am where you have everything you need then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mpx which is basically it used to be npm but now it's mpx what the mpx is is basically is the npm and installer at the same time so that execution type of thing so um, an instruction so mpx and create dash react app okay this is going to create a react app <laughs> all right and then you're gonna name it what do we name it you know what let's make a copy of one that I actually started building already all right 
and we're gonna call this uh, React Task uh, or Task. Let's call it Task Tracker. Task Tracker, and then hit Enter. So once you, if you don't have React app um, already installed in your machine, it's gonna tell you if you want to install React app. Then you're just gonna hit Yes and Enter, and it's going to download react it's going to download for you and install create react app this little piece right here may not be in your computer yet um, so you basically have to install the ability for mpx to use this and then once that's done then you can run this or it may actually run it for you anyway and then it, it'll create the actual app so what I'm basically doing here is I'm excuse me I'm telling my computer to through this um, CLI right here, this uh, create React app, create for me an app called Task Tracker in React. Okay, so this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and speak through this part because you don't need to see me while this is happening. And I'll come back to this later. Okay. All right, so I'm back. Um, I am done uh, downloading the application, and as you can see, it says um, you can read, right? Yeah, you can read. Just read it. Read it. All right. So, how do we get into the application? Right now, I am still at the parent folder that I was at before. It was called React, whatever. So, if I open this back up again, you should be able to see now two applications in here. One is the one that I already built for a different tutorial, and one that I'm actually going to replicate, which is kind of going to be a copy of this again, but from you know back from the beginning. Uh, so now I should see both of these right here. So obviously, if I run anything from this level, I will be running both applications at the same time. I said no, no, you don't want to do that. Okay, you want to run the application that you want in its own original folder for itself. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is I am going to, while I'm still here, I'm going to click CT and then TASK and then tab and it will give me the name of the directory that is found with those three letters. Hit enter and you can see now that I am here I at, at that directory. So, because I want to work in that directory and I don't want to have this stuff over here, I am going to basically code space dot what that is going to do is it's going to open up another ver another window of Visual Studio but at that directory so I hit enter and just like magic it opens up all right now I can close this one behind me and open this up a little more so you can see it and here we are we are at the root of our application. So uh, let's go over a little bit on what's going on in here. So first you have the snow modules right here, okay? Um, careful if you have a, a Git uh, package or something that you're gonna be sending this through um, GitHub or something like that, make sure that you have a Git ignore, which is this one, and that in that Git ignore, which right now includes already the node modules, but if you don't have it, make sure that you have a Git ignore file like that one, and that it says ignore no modules then you can go ahead and start serving um, your folders or you know everything your entire package to github you can see that I had, there are a bunch of other stuff already that react kind of you know puts in there for you because it kind of knows already that you don't need to send this stuff to your repository but if you don't have it make a screenshot of this or like you know pause make sure that you have it make sure you put all this stuff in there reason why is because if you look at this node modules you can see it is gigantic you see this look at this it keeps going and going and going and going and going this will take forever to send to a repository and fill it up completely so you don't want to do that okay so ideally if you wanted to share this application with another friend or another developer what you want to do is that you want that developer to be able to pull your your repository to pull this code that you're doing that you send into github you want him to pull it but you want him that or her to pull it and run 
npm install so that they have their own copy of their node modules package uh, in a folder and you have your own those folders will never be changed they will never be altered they will never mutate they will always be exactly the way they are untouched so that means that your copy of no modules and his copy of no modules are going to be exactly the same so there's no reason to share it back and forth if they're never going to change all your changes are going to be in these folders right here in this public folder which is going to be changed according to what you do inside of this src folder all of your code work is going to be done basically in here okay all right so let's close this and now let's go to look at this in a little bit more in detail so to show you what's going on in here what we're going to do so we're going to run this application so let's look at the package json first before before we actually do any of that if you notice here you're going to see a bunch of different stuff so you see a name here which is basically text tracker that's basically is the name of your application text tracker we decided to name this so that's why it's named this way because we decided that remember when we say create react app and then we said test tracker that's what we told it we told react to create an application of this name and this is the version because it just it's been born it's version zero as you start making more versions of your website let's say your website is already out there people love it but then you're going to add another um I don't know feature or something like that you may want to up this number to version one and then version two and that's if you look at many things out there like Facebook for example it's on version I don't even know right because it has been updated and updated and more stuff uh, usually this right here it means if you have any extra packages that have been added to it and things like that and then this right here is if there's any patches or bugs or anything like that that has been fixed okay okay uh let's not go with this that's a little bit too you know not even too interesting uh dependencies so this dependencies is basically what react already put out of the box for you to use so you have react and react dom react scripts web vitals so this is basically the very 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 minimal that you'll need to run react with it to run react in your in your console eventually you'll start adding a little bit more stuff to this you'll have redux so you'll have a lot more stuff that this will grow a little bit more but this is the very basic and if you notice what this stuff is right here behind this number so this is obviously we already talked about it we know what this is but this right here is basically means that it's upgradable so that when react the next react comes up uh, 18 for example then you'll have this right here will be able to upgrade it itself when you do an upgrade on that when you run npm react upgrade or whatever um, so it's basically upgradable if you take that off you can restrict so that react will only excuse me will only be this version forever in the year 3000 it will still be that that version because you restricted it from updating all right so uh we're not going to go over all this stuff here there's a lot of mama jumbo in here that will it could take forever to explain and same thing with this i'm not going to go over these two right here because we're not going to do any testing or anything like that um but these two right here are the only ones that you really need to know so this this start right here is uh it's an instruction that you are telling your package manager to do when you want to run the application so when you run npm start basically this is what it's going to do it's going to make a call to react scripts and start your application on the browser if you say npm build it's going to call react scripts also but it's not going to just start it. it's going to build it it's going to make a folder called build over here which is the folder that is going to go to your server when you decide to make this thing public and put it on the internet okay so without further ado let's do our first one let's do the npm let's do let's call this script right here so we're gonna do npm start oops I messed up there you go npm start and it's gonna do some little work uh, oh sorry I was already running something so would you like to run this no I am going to close the other one that I have I apologize about that 
All right, there we go. And would you like to, okay, so no. Technically for you, that wouldn't show up, okay? The reason why it showed up for me is because I already have something on localhost 3000 from a different windows, okay? And I forgot to close it. So don't pay too much mind to that because that most likely will not happen for you unless you do have something running already on port 3000. So let's run it again, npm start. It should be local uh, local host port 3000 should already be, um, what do you call it, like empty, right? And it opened on my other monitor, but here it is right there, localhost 3000. So this is what you should have in your machine right now. You should have the exact same thing that I have, which is basically going to be um, React out of the box. It's their logo and this stuff. Okay, pretty simple. All right, so let's call this package. Let's close this package, JSON, because we don't need to do anything else anymore. And this basically is kind of where I want to stop right now because um, I do want to, in the next one, I want to talk a little bit more uh, in depth about not in depth, but like a little bit more about what's going on in here and how do these things talk to each other. And then we'll make that one short, okay? See you in the next one.